All right, let's finish her up, finally. About damn time. Two months without a video. YouTuber, more like you goober. Am I right, quarantine friend? So the last time you saw the Gorelli, I was dejected having just taken it for a test drive and the engine was making a terrible noise. Uh, so we start this video back in February, uh, back when you wore nitrile gloves just for the mundane purpose of keeping transmission fluid off of your hands. This was pretty much right after I got the workshop set up and I put the Gorelli up on the stand and began to troubleshoot. Uh. All right, we got a bingo, the very first thing we opened. Look at that. Missing some, some teeth on that gear. Just roll around, make sure we're not missing anything else. Yep, that's our problem. Let's see if we can find those teeth. Where did they go? Um. <laughs> There's one. Look, come, Papa. All right. I don't know where the other one is. I'll start digging around and see if I can find it. Two months later. All right, so that brings us to right now, early May. It's not easy to find gears for a vertical VIP Gorelli engine. Um, actually, right now, if you look, there's two sets of these. I sat there looking for three months and I couldn't find any and then two sets popped up within a few days of each other but I got one of them. Um, it's actually pretty good. It came with like everything and this is actually from an Avanti which is like a Gorelli clone but I mean it should fit exact but I got the gear and then also I got the, um, the springs and the little things that fling out to grab the gear and they look pretty damn good so I'm actually gonna just replace all of it I think um, I've had this closed off for a couple months because I didn't want anything getting in there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and just get in there I haven't even taken anything off I just closed it up and forgot about it right now it's early May uh, like May 2nd I think and it's 75 degrees outside or what 23 24 Celsius it's nice really nice I'd love to have this thing fixed to take her for a ride today the only real issue about doing a big test ride is that um, the DMV is closed because of quarantine so I can't go get a tag for this I think I'll be all right just kind of riding it around the, you know, little industrial area where my shop is. So I'm not overly concerned, but I don't think I can take it to, uh, you know, any of my regular testing grounds or anything. Anyway, let's open her up and flip it out. Hello. Oh. It bears saying that I never found the other gear tooth. I only found one. And there's two missing, so uh, I'm hoping I find that at some point during this whole disassembly. I have to clean this out real well. I got nasty metal shavings everywhere. There it is. Alright, 
Let's remember exactly the way this goes in. Round side going towards clockwise. I still don't see this other broken tooth. Gosh, I wonder if it was in that oil that I drained out. This is actually the first time I get to make sure that these are exactly the same. So let me see. Please, Lucky. I'll be damned. I think it's exactly the same. I don't know what happened to that other spring. The little spring that goes in here. <laughs> it's gone, but luckily I have two additional ones from the kit I bought. But damn, where'd that thing go? This is just Teflon tape to hold those springs compressed. This is the same way I did it when I built the engine originally. There we go. Ah. Don't do it. There we go. Got it. Here, I used the compressor to get all those metal shavings out of the clutches and all the other stuff that needs to go in. So there you have it. Back together, new gear installed. I gotta put the chain back on and the uh, exhaust and everything. I won't show any of that. Hopefully we get her started today. It's, that took longer than I thought it would. I thought I was gonna do that in 45 minutes and it took me about two hours, so. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll come back after she's all back together. Oh, it's been a long time.
All right, it's been a while since whatever the last thing you saw was. I got this thing dialed in about two months ago and I had been waiting for mid-June because that's when they said the DMV would reopen and I'd be able to go get her titled because I don't have a title for her and tags on the back so I could take her for a nice ride with my GoPro and close out this series. Uh, well, it's now late June and I called the DMV yesterday and they said that the titling service is still not available and probably won't be available for the foreseeable future. So that puts me in a pickle. As a matter of fact, about four weeks ago, I was shaking her down a few blocks away and I got pulled over. And while the cop didn't give me a ticket, he was a nice guy, uh, he did tell me that they could confiscate my vehicle if they catch me again. I don't know that this qualifies as a vehicle, but whatever. I don't have a title for it, so if they did confiscate it, I would never be able to prove ownership and I'm not interested in uh, losing my bike. So, what I figure I'm gonna do is set up the camera right outside the door and just ride up and down the street real fast so you can see her at her, at her full glory. And then in a couple months, hopefully, when I can get a title, I'll put the GoPro on and we'll go for a nice long ride. I think that's just going to have to suffice because I've got this thing in my head where I can't start a new project until this project is completed. And I've been sitting around waiting for two months for this project to be completed and it's driving me nuts because I've got something I want to start on. So, we'll set you up, show you what she's got, and then I'll come back and talk about all the good points and bad points. Of course, I just ran right by a cop. He's just sitting there. Anyway, I think you got a good picture of her. I got a good speed run in there. Uh, let's go talk. Okay, so I hope that will suffice <laughs> for this finale. I know it isn't the grand finale that I wanted, but uh, quarantine sucks. Let me tell you some things I like and some things I don't like. First off, things I like, the trail tech. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I love knowing exactly how hot my, my, uh, my head is. I love knowing my RPMs. I will say that I think you probably heard me say I was going 46 miles an hour in one of the first test drives. And you know, I did that by, by measuring the wheel and setting the wheel circumference in here. And then that calculates the speed based on RPM. Um, but when I used my GPS on it, this thing was running about three miles an hour fast. So I ended up tweaking these settings a little bit to get this to align with my GPS. And I think like right now, like if you saw that speed run I did just now, it was at 43 miles an hour. I think that's as fast as this thing's gonna go. Um, I might could tweak it a little bit more and get a couple more miles per hour out of it, but I, I like the way she's riding right now, so I don't wanna do that. So 43 miles an hour, respectable, not super cra crazy fast, but respectable. It is a banshee. The torque on this thing is ridiculous. I'm actually putting that in something that I don't like about the bike. If you're not, if you don't feather that throttle as you take off, it'll shoot out from under you. It's happened to me twice now where the front wheel lifted and shot out from under me not only from a standstill, but also if you're doing 30 miles an hour and you goose it, the thing wants to shoot out from under you. So while I love having a lot of torque, uh, that I'm counting as a thumbs down because I also like being alive and not cracking my skull. Um, I think the torque is, you know, 
that's just what it is. I've, I've messed with the timing to try to get, you know, take out some of the bottom end and put some on the top end. And uh, the timing's about exactly where it needs to be. I think that torque is just something I'm gonna have to live with. And as long as you know what you're doing and feather the throttle to get you up to speed, you're fine. I love the way she looks. I love the driving position of her. It's comfortable as hell. Um, the ride is, is smooth. And there's, you know, if you're doing 40, there's extra in the tank that you can kind of pull on and get around things if you need to. I love that. The brakes are really good. I thought these brakes were going to suck, but they're actually beautiful. So, like I said, not the grand finale I wanted for this bike. But we'll come back after I get tags on her. We'll come back and, and, and do it right and go out for a GoPro. But now I'm going to call it done, which means I could start on my next project. So, uh, sorry this one took so long. The next one won't take nearly as long. Um, and I hope you tune in to watch it. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.